Let's start out by making our dressing for the salad. This dressing can be stored in your fridge for use in all sorts of salads. This is an all-purpose salad dressing that almost everybody should have all the ingredients for it on hand. Here I'm using a three to one ratio, three parts oil, one part acid. Pair it almost to its essentials. No shallot, no salt, no pepper, so that it can be used almost like a sauce base. The mustard adds flavor and strengthens the emulsion. You can add any number of additional ingredients to it, depending on how it's to be used. Most often, I use it to dress greens that have been seasoned with salt and tossed with fresh herbs, as with this bib salad. First, we will need a container that is large enough to hold all the ingredients when they are combined. I'm using a one pint container. Add one quarter cup of Dijon mustard to your container and then follow that up by adding half a cup of red wine vinegar. You can also use apple cider, white wine vinegar, rice vinegar, or even champagne vinegar. I'm using a hand blender, but you can use a blender or even a whisk to make the emulsion. I am blending this on the lowest setting and streaming in one cup of canola oil and half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Once the vinaigrette is made, you can store it in the fridge for two to three weeks, and if the vinaigrette starts to separate, you can always blend it back again with a blender or a hand blender. Now let's tackle the aromatics. Here I have a shallot. Cut off the tip, which is a little dry, and discard. Now we will cut the shallot in half, and with the root end towards you, use the heel of your knife and cut the shallot very fine. Without going through the root, the root end will hold all of this together. Turn the shallot 90 degrees and mince the rest of the shallot. You can go over it again if you like it extra fine, set this aside. Now for some radish. Cut the tips off the end of the radish and then adjust the slicer or mandolin to give yourself very thin shavings. If you don't have a mandolin and would like one, I have a link down below to get one. Carefully slice the radish and then place in cold water. The water will keep them crisp longer. Now for the lemon. Just cut either into wedges or you can cut them off center. Here I've cut them off center. Remove the seeds and keep on standby. The lemon will add some brightness to the salad. This is fien herbs. Fien herbs are this. We have parsley, chives, tarragon, and chervil. Now, fien herbs are spectacular with the delicate flavors of eggs, but they also complete many dishes from meats to fish to vegetables, enhancing their freshness with very little effort. These herbs are easily grown and widely available. Chervil, which like tarragon is an anise flavored herb, is the only member of the group that's less commonly available to the home cook. If you can't find it, simply omit it. Originally from Asia and now grown throughout the East and West, chervil is probably the most delicate of the herbs in structure, appearance, and taste, and its delicacy is precisely what makes it so appealing. Parsley adds a bitter note and chives a sweet oniony component. Combined, these flavors not only enhance salad, chicken, fish, sauces, and shellfish, they do so in a way that is more satisfying than any one of these herbs could do by itself. Anyway, we will pick the herbs whole and mince the chives. Rinse the whole herbs and spin dry and keep the chives in a separate bowl for now. Lettuce time. This is living butter lettuce and it is very alive, full of dirt. We are going to want to clean it up just a little bit before we eat it. Cut off the root end or you can pinch the root end with your fingers and twist and pull off the root and leave the leaves in place. Rinse in cold water and try to get off all the debris that is still trying to cling to the leaves. Add to a salad spinner and spin until dry. Okay, now let's build this thing. Dress the leaves with some of the vinaigrette we made here. Not too much, just enough to coat. I think I added just a touch too much. Now for a small pinch of shallot, some chives, and the fien herbs. You can add as much or as little as you want. Some thin shaved radish and season with salt, pepper, and the lemon squeezer. Yes, the lemon is a part of the seasoning. Give the salad a toss and then let's plate. Here I started to stack the salad as if it was still a head of lettuce, largely from the bottom, and work my way up like a Russian nesting doll, big to small. If the herbs and the radish are hanging onto the leaves, that's fine. Once the salad is stacked, place the remaining herbs and radish on and around the salad. Add more fresh herbs if you desire, and then marvel at this salad 
that you have just made and sit back, relax, and enjoy that beautiful thing. Thank you.